Welcome back here to PlayOnSports.com here. Our PlayOnSports.com, well, team a player of the game, and it's the leader here, head coach Dennis Gregovich, a 42-20 win over uh, Vistal Del Lago. And, you know, it was a very, um, we did talk about it, it was a very interesting game. Uh, yes, you got the win, but this is definitely uh, the kind of game where, you know, you shake off those cobwebs and you really, really assess this team after this first week of the year. Right. It was a lot of, you know, a lot of mistakes offensively. Defensively, they played well, which we knew they were going to fly around and hit people and make tackles. Very small mistakes. They really kept us in the ball game. Offensively, it was just all over the place. You know, um, bad snaps, quarterbacks couldn't get grips on the ball, lining up wrong, blocks in the back, and it just compiled. But luckily, you know, with our defense playing as well as they did, they kept us in the game. Yeah, definitely, you know, so a lot of negatives, but you don't want to look overlook that with a lot of the positives. They put up 42 points on the board, and, you know, a, a, you can really say it was a team effort offensively. I mean, every, there were a lot of players. There was no player that had two touchdowns today. I mean, it was a spread offense all the way around. So it seems as if offensively they've really not not really taken a, their foot off the gas pedal from last year. No, and what we try and preach to everybody is you know, one guy may get five, six touches one game and then not, you know, any of the next. But you have so much more depth than we've had in the past and a lot of playmakers. And as long as everybody's willing to do their job and do their thing, we can spread the ball around, which I think ultimately makes us harder to defend. So as long as, you know, even with the quarterbacks, you see the quarterbacks. So it's a feeling out process trying to figure out how we're going to get everybody in and how we're going to work it. But as a coaching staff, you're just happy that, hey, we won the game, but we have a lot of stuff we can work on. Now, obviously, a bye week, and you're going to be taking a lot of advantage. Hearing in that uh, in that uh, post-game huddle, you're be doing a lot of conditioning before uh, before you guys go into full pads uh, the week after. And Muriel Mesa is going to be a tough opponent. You guys lost to him last year, and I know you guys want to avenge a loss. What are the big things you guys are going to be working on in your bye week, and then moving in to that preparation of to Mesa next week? Well, the thing that I was, you know, that I didn't like, you know, was the pace, and it was hard to push pace when you're getting a couple positive plays followed by a big negative play. So we're going to work on conditioning, work on the communication between the receivers and the quarterbacks, and just work on getting the little things, the X's and O's down. Down. But, you know, we tell the kids there's always something to work on. And, you know, the team you're going to want to beat is Citrus Hill. And that type of game doesn't beat Citrus Hill. So you got to keep working hard. Yeah, obviously being picked uh, to be second in the amount pass league. But it's still a lot of, a lot of work to do. Yep. But, again, enjoy the win. Obviously back to the drawing board on Tuesday. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Here with uh, Dennis Gregovich, our head coach uh, of the Talkwoods Titans in our play on sport, uh, NFHS Network pl uh, player of the game. Yes, we'll be right back here with this one for our post-game coverage. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back.